joining us at this moment is the leader of opposition in Meghalaya and the leader of TMC in Meghalaya, Dr. Mukul Sangma. Dr. Sangma, you are a veteran of many elections. This time with TMC, this election, how different you are finding this campaign? Uh, you know, you have been very aggressive in your campaign. I did uh, uh, what I could make out that you were attacking the government on corruption charges. Cautioning the government, drawing the attention of the government. I think that's the right uh, interpretation. Look, uh, you can feel the pulse. And in the spirit of our true democracy, of the people, by the people, for the people. So that spirit is prevailing. And this spirit must be reinforced for the purpose of sustaining the democracy. And uh, that's what we have done the main party, uh, NPP, their charge always against TMC had been, you know, that it hasn't been an outsider party. They've questioned you time and again for you contesting from two seats and contesting from a new seat. Uh, how do you uh, counter these charges? You know, the love and affection, the trust and faith of the people from across the state is the reason of me. Okay, I'm with you. Okay, I'm with you. That's why I'm with, uh, contesting in two seats. That's precisely to really take cognizance of the love and affection and trust and confidence of the people, the electorates themselves. Okay, so it's my job to do and respond the way I want to. Okay, and today you see, you see all my people who are outsiders here, who are outsiders here. They are all part and parcel of the people who, who create this whole demography. You know, our Garos, Khasis, Jaintias, then other tribes who co-inhabit in this beautiful state of ours including some uh, you know, non-tribal communities, both Hindus and Muslims. It's a beautiful state, wonderful state. And the kind of uh, narrative that they have been engaging against TMC is not inconsistent with, in, not in conformity with what we expect from a civilized society. Uh, talking about the BJP contesting 60 seats, they are trying to build up a narrative saying that, look, uh, uh, Mr. Mukul Sangma is tried and tested, uh, their own ally, they are questioning their own ally, Conrad Sangman and NPP, and they are saying that, you know, Meghalaya wants to, wants a BJP government. How do you counter the BJP narrative? How, you know, BJP is very aggressive. See, I used to tell people that BJP's narrative is camouflaged by the, you know, the so-called rhetoric of development. If BJP is concerned about the people of the state and development, why have not they acted when the alleged irregularities and alleged corruptions were brought to their notice? Why have not they acted? Huh? Are they trying to use the other parties as their pawn? That agar kuch nahi karta hai, hum jise bolte hai to dekho. There is a saying in Bengali, bhala to kortam na, kharaab je kortam na ita lage ki diba. Is it the strategy that BJP is adopting with the other parties who are in the uh, present dispensation, including the leading partner, the NPP? So we can read between the lines. You have to understand and interpret their rhetorics. I have also talked about one particular aspect of how people are somehow, you know, there is a diversionary tactics because the main issue which concerns the people and which is the reason for people to be cautious about BJP, you know, they want to camouflage them and then hide them behind the government. You know, that's why they are talking about development. Why aren't they talking about the various allegations which have uh, surface in Assam recently, you know, that alleged profiling of various religious uh, uh, groups. These are not in sync with our spirit of democracy. The spirit of our democracy which is reflected in the preamble itself. Liberty of thought and expression. Hmm? Faith, worship and belief. So all these things are there. Everything pertaining to my personal liberty must be protected and defended. And I don't see it happening with BJP. But one last thing from you is uh, that, you know, this, when we talked, we spoke to your supporters, they were largely people who were with the Congress, now they've come to the TMC. So how much of that, you know, uh, Congress space has been taken by the people who were Congress, it's basically the people from every political party who have actually gravitated towards TMC and we are happy to see them. I'm really thankful to them. Within such a short time, you see, you know, the flag of TMC flying high everywhere, every nook and corner. Thank you.